That's okay. Go through that door. Welcome back, everybody. To the right. Ahead of you. Mama. There you go. So, Mike, you can change to the alpha. Um, remember the the big thing I need somewhere. You do. You have the keyblade. Your Olympian keyblade. I would recommend if honestly. You can kind of like, if you want to put Beast back in, feel free, but otherwise, you're good with this party layout. Jump down! Alright. Because that's where we're going upstairs. What? Look at the door. I already fought with the kid. I know. We're, now we have to save Kyrie! And the other princesses! Like what Alice! Do you care about them? Uh, I mean. <laughs> we gotta save Alice! Uh, I mean. Okay, hear this door? No, that's the way out. This you are just anxious to leave all these women here. No. Up, cool. Upstairs, behind the goat stairs. Remember, you can um, remember you can double tap O, you can fly. You have high jump, Mama. Yeah. They're cool. I don't know. A lot. Them. You can glide. Right here? Yeah, right in there. Walk. All right, let's go. Oh, fine. Let's save them, I guess. No, I'm excited. Oh, you gotta keep putting the pieces. Remember, we got the pieces. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so happy you're excited to save the princess. Look, it's a heart. I'm sorry. I'm just I'm a little off today. That's okay, everybody. Everyone, give Mercedes your energy. Haha. <laughs> it was mine. No, Chris. The heart that is strong and true shall win the keyblade. Who's that? Remember the guy from the beginning of the what? Game? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. Okay, so you remember that guy on your island that was like, you know nothing? Yeah. That's him. That doesn't sound good to me. That's, it's, I'm sure it's okay. Uh, uh, back, yeah, there we go. There's a little cut. There you go. Lift, stop. Okay, so you look, uh, look to your left a little bit. Uh, okay, so you can go, the, I think the elevator takes you upstairs, so we want to kind of explore this floor first. Watch out. <laughs> This is the right way, so uh, it's a flying thing. And you can shoot it with lightning, you try and jump, you still fall off. No, no, you just go down to the very bottom. Remember? You were with Beast? Yeah. Okay, yeah, now go back inside. Uh, yeah, because this is the right way, we want to make sure we explore all the other ways first before we make progression. Uh, so I think you can tap that red thing. Triangle on it. Yeah. The upper level. Okay, that switched one of the elevators, so now it's gonna go. Yeah, let's leave it like that for now. And, um, oh wait. Look at that one. To the right. No, the other, the other crystal. Yeah, you hit that one. Okay, gotta hit that one. Hit it? Yeah, but no, uh, examine it. That's fine. So that takes us upstairs now. Okay, so, so it's examine. Okay. This place is a little tough to navigate sometimes. Okay, good. Yeah, go over there. And hit the gravity spell on that thing. So target, gravity spell. We saw this very briefly in the last part. There you go. It's all yours now. Uh, D select. There you go. Yes, or a calco. What's that do? Uh, I mentioned it before. It's one of the upgrade materials for some of the best weapons in the game. Now you, uh, no, you can go back, go back down now. 
I just want to make the ultimate key. Ultimate key. Yes. Key. There's. I think there's like there's. So the ultimate keyblade. It's at Ultima. Fir Ultima. It, at first, it says it needs 12 pieces of Oracalcum, but when you get a certain upgrade, it goes down. To oh no, I'm thinking of the next game. Sorry. It needs. I think it needs six pieces of Oracalcum. Uh, go through the way you're gonna go. Because we fixed this elevator, so uh, an elevator later on should work better now. Or it should take us in a different direction. Up. So, uh, there's these guys here. See ya. Yeah, take that. Uh, no, you missed. You can just attack him later. Don't forget to heal, uh, Donald. Uh, Target? There he is. And also, don't forget to heal. Never mind, you got health. Left. Heal. Cool. That way. Uh, we have to see the shiny one. Oh, cool. Um, so you can jump on that now, I think. Yeah, and okay, so that'll basically that'll sh help shortcut you back to the other side. And also, if you jump on it, you can try getting that chest open. Okay, stay on it. Alright, get ready to do your gravity spell. No. Right there. Well, actually, you know, you can jump off. So jump off there and fly. <laughs> no. Oh, God. Okay. Target. My goodness. Force. All right. Now you are out of magic. That's fine. Uh, go open the chest. Because he's not out of More dimensions. Out of magic. He's not out of magic. Uh, you can fly back now, actually. He's not out of magic, so he can. And then go to the, the little blue sparkle on the right. Yeah. Exam. Up we go. Up. Back crystal. Um, same thing the only other one too. Okay, now what? Now look around. You'll see that you're moving. The wizards, or witches, I guess. I don't know. They look female. Yeah, the pointy hats, and they're kind of like their slim waist. Make me think that's what the intended look was. But I, I guess Heartless don't have gender, so it doesn't matter. Now, what you want is to kill them. You want to just kill them, but on very rare drops, they give you something called the, uh, the wizard's relic, I think. It's a really good staff. Yes. You want to get the wizard's relic because it has a, it's a really good staff for them. Examine. My mom got like a, a, a shiny crystal. Yeah. That's okay. I got soft though. Yeah. We'll we'll fight more of those, so that's not really something we need to worry about yet. I got soft though. I'll even do a thumbs up. I don't know what I'm shiny crystal. Also you got more ability points, so you can attach more abilities later. Fun. Look at this big castle. Cottage, cottage, awesome. Listen, you lean back. Good. Open the chest. Some doggage. Okay, cool. To the right. That way. Down there. I like how you took the stairs. Take four damage, Mama. Yeah, Mama. Alright, uh, look around really quick before you go to hit the, the elevator. Yeah, look to your right. Uh, can you target anything? 
No, okay, cool. No chest here. Alright, up we go. Assuming it takes us up. Alright, great. Uh, okay, so then I guess that way. Yep, up the stairs. Wait. <laughs> Check your items really quick while we're here. Oh, okay. Switch out your mega elixir uh, for a mega potion. We're mega potion. Yeah, go to stock. Yep. Great. And then switch out one of your potions for a mega ever. <laughs> Bless you. We're getting to the point in the game where, like, where we're gonna start blowing our noses. <laughs> It's okay. I said we're getting to the part of the game where we're just going to be needing to use um, more uh, expensive items because, you know, we're going to get into more serious boss fights. My mom has never used the ultimate keyblade. Uh, she doesn't have it. No, I mean, I don't think she'll use it before she starts to do the story mode. I think she'll... Well, she'll have it probably for, like, the last boss fight. Oh, good and some And some optional boss fights, too, for sure. We are good. Yeah. Left. Because there is a chest. So much more calcum. Well, what did you say we're getting to the point where what? We're sorry. getting, it's okay. I said we're getting to the point in the game where we, where all the items we stockpiled, like the mega potions, the mega elixirs, and I said don't use those. We're getting to the point where now we're going to be using them during fights. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, to that chest right there. Also kill these enemies first. Oh. Yeah, I said it was interesting that your progression, it's not just magic based like I thought it would be, it's also you're getting more aerial com aerial abilities faster. Like more like spin moves in the air, more extra combos. Yeah, you're doing the right thing. Right? So just smack him until he stops being annoying. So that's fine. Um, hit that crystal there. Right there. Chest right there. Never mind, it's a dog. Dog face. I saw. He did a lot of damage there. Continue. Oh, shoot. Where am I? What was my last save point? No, no, it's not. It doesn't go by save. Oh, no. Nope. Yep. Right there. See, I told you, remember? The, the checkpoints are pretty generous. Yeah. In every world. The whole game. So the, the game, what it does is it asks if you want to continue or load your save. And then loading your save obviously takes back to the last time you save. So continue usually takes you to the room before uh, whatever room you were in killed you. And if it's a boss fight, it's the room before you enter the boss fight. Okay, uh, so we want to hit that crystal again once the enemies are dead. I think because you were further away when the other ones died. You want to hit him from behind. Oh my god, I thought that was like a little thunder. Thunder. I didn't know that someone was holding that. Yeah, it's the guy holding it. Uh, actually, it might be, watch out. Okay. Um, he's got a head, but he doesn't seem to have eyes on his head. He just has that. You want to do the same strategy as the, the big guys? You want to jump behind them. Alright, now uh, hit the crystal. And then hit the chest behind you with gravity. There you are. See, Donald's like letting yelling at you. Yeah, I don't find Gravira a very useful spell in general, to be honest. It just like it doesn't do a lot of damage to most enemies. Oh, cool. Um, and it's the area of effect. You want to go uh, to your right. There's a little. There should be a door. Yeah, there it is. Um, 
the area of effect, it's, it's not very big, so like if someone dodges it, they can dodge it, whereas lightning will almost always target someone. Although for these guys, the uh, the guy with the shields, gravity's not bad, because it like flattens them. It allows you to get like some uh, distance around them. Make a nigga cheese! Really. Yeah. See that staff he's shooting off with? That's the staff. Donald gets an exact copy of it when he uh, when it is off. Cool. The door that way. Sorry. My head is for viewers at home who can't see. Uh, my head is directly in the way of Mercedes' camera. Giving her the prime ability to attack. Watch out. How much of this do you want me to edit out with your nose moving? Well, if it sounds really loud, it hurts people's ears. I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Kill them all. Hey. Man, you have such a combo with me. Yeah, that's really interesting, the, the different ways Sora, like, levels depending on your, uh, kind of, like, your, your path, or, like, your, your design through the game, your build. Because, like, your Sora is really good at magic, and your aerial combos go on for days. Whereas my Sora is, like, he was a bit more defensive. I didn't use magic a lot unless it was to heal or use arrow, which is in my defensive, uh, you know, kind of strategy. And my ground-based combos were, like, they would go, like, as long as your air combos are going. And I'd have th three different type of finishers I would pull out, depending on just random chances. Like one was the one is that one that but I got that one really late in the game because I wasn't magic uh, Another was that one, uh, and then Blitz is one of my favorites, and that that, that just replaces your like your third hit, your third most. Of the time. <laughs> I think there's one more finisher that. You want to hit the, uh, the grab chest and then the, the spot. Yay! Cool. Awesome. And the sparkle. I think we got a keyblade that you never tried on, by the way. Which one? The metal chocobo, the one we got for beating Loud and Leon together. But this one's way better. And the metal chocobo, it decreases your magic. So probably won't try to join. Um, so you want to hit that. That's that point, Just the, be careful of falling off of these guys. That point, the heart up. Thunder! Don't forget to heal. Never mind. You got mad, you got help. There he is. Your keyblade is doing so much damage. Just chest and then there's a spark. Enemies first. Careful not to fall. They'll come back. Just like what? Come on. 
all kind of far away right now. There they are. There he is. Chris, go through the lead the other way. Lean that way. There you go, great. Uh, so that, and then the sparkle sparkle when it gets chance. I don't know what else to call it. I've mean, I just been playing this game by myself for so long that I never had to call it anything. I'm gonna keep calling it the Sparkle Sparkle. <laughs> the Sparkle Sparkle! <laughs> Alright, so that changes the direction of one of the elevators, um, but we'll come to it later at some point. Now we go back down one floor from, yeah, there, that way. Uh, uh, another one. And now left, follow the hallway. You want to hug the left wall. You don't. Know, you can avoid them if you want. It's gonna take a little while to kill. Or you can kill them. Just go through the door. Sure. Sounds good. All right. Now, oh. dog to your left. Guy. I, I call him a dog just because he has a dog face. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not talking about Goofy. <laughs> Thank you, Donald. Yeah. It's. It's weird. The world of anthrop anthropomorphic Disney characters is a bizarre world. Is nice. You fly, Goofy. You do it. Nice. Yes, stun. Not stun. I don't know. So, did you notice the emblem you picked up uh, that you solved the puzzle for? Oh, I'm not sure if I can call it a puzzle. Oh, cool. Big item. Yes, the laser. Um, you notice that's the same shape of the symbol that's on the heartless. The same type of heart that indicates the symbol for heartless. Yeah. Is that why it was broken? Uh, it's broken to pieces because it's a puzzle door. Cutscene. Cutscene. Do you like Riku's new outfit, by the way, with the ruby skirt? You have to. <laughs> so, I see the path has emerged at last. That's yes. Not you. The keyhole to the uh, door. Riku's the DJ now. Unlock it, and the heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no. He does have a cool heartless symbol on his chest. <coughs> it's been hard to see. Its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. Also, he's got that now. Is that his own keyboard? Oh. oh. Um. Yeah, let's call it that. Impossible. The princesses of heart are all here. The it door's not open. Be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. What is it? What? Her power. She's a princess of light. The king's fools are here. I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. What's going on? She's glowing. Why is she glowing? Uh, you know, it's, it's Friday. She likes to glow. Is there some people like whose true self is coming out? Is there a save point here? No, there is not. That's fine. Here, uh, press start. Is it? Is I, it because his true self is coming out? Not the darkness. Not quite, but his true his his own self is embracing the darkness. Hit items. Hit stock. Uh, let's see. Go down to cottage. What does that do? Yeah, hit a cottage. Use. We're not going to use very many of these in the game, so it's fine. They're just happening now. Okay, keep going, and then exit out. And forward. You got this. So, I'm going to basically look at what I got there. That's what it sounds like she wants to do. Go. You got this. Attempt one of 45. The montage starts now. <laughs> she got turned into a dragon. I mean, you'll find I'm out. You're too late. That's usually what she does in the movies. Any moment now, the final keyhole. So I don't know why they call this place the this final keyhole. Plunge to be honest. Darkness. It is unstoppable. We'll stop it. After coming this far, there's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Me, the mistress of all evil! <laughs> I mean, it's a baby. Fighter. Fighter. What do I do? What do I do? Fight. Yeah, but how? Just hit her. Thunder. 
that? Well, you can. So you can hit her with magic. You can jump up on her platform and also hit her. I think her. I think her platform might also have a health bar at some point, so that way you can knock it away. Uh, it's hard to remember exactly. I might be thinking of something else. Uh, she also summons a lot of magic spells. That's her thing. Yeah, but it was just a baby. Like, how hard is that? Watch out! Oh, wow, I didn't realize that. It's okay, so meteors get flying at you, and what you can do is, I think you can knock them away, or guard against them, or hide underneath the thing. Uh, so you're good to go. You could have cursed him. Well, the baby. It's yeah. just a baby. How hard was it? How hard it's is it to curse forever. a baby? How hard is it to curse a baby, when you think about it? It's, it's not a like, thing. It's not hard. Yeah. Like, you know, you, what a villain. I've heard Arch nemesis, nemesis. Yeah, you can hit the, the, the little thing and it'll, it'll knock it away. Come on. Uh, yeah, it has a health bar. So, I think when the meteors come, I feel like there's a safe thing to do. It's been so long, I, I forget what it is. It's either to guard up against the meteors or to hide under her thing. Uh, it's like I'm getting rid of you. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's fine. You should still be safe. Um, you should be also be able to run away, I think, when that happens. Oh look, she summoned dads. Okay, I hear she said meteors. Uh roll, guard. Oh yeah, see that they don't really you're you're safe here. And you can get rid of the heartless whenever you want. Uh, but uh, you know, you just also focus on that. That's fine. And honestly, you don't even have to focus on her little platform, because it's not that difficult unless it gets high like that. So you can attack it now. So the, that's the only thing. When it gets that high, you want to. Get it. <laughs> yeah, sure, magic is really good. Yeah. yeah, have you fought a real, like, a boss boss with ads like this? Like, oh, okay, so you know you have a boss, right? Yeah. Have you ever been in a situation where you have a boss and the, the boss brings up additional enemies that aren't hard or, the, or really all that unique, but they annoy you? Yeah. Have you ever fought that before? Okay, that's what that is. So yeah, getting rid of them might be in your best interest, but I, I re also respect your idea to just kill the rest. Because, you know, at, at the end of the day, she's the one that needs to go. So, uh, yeah, just just stay close to Maleficent as much as you can. Mother, you gotta heal, remember? Why am I a foot rest? What's going on? What? Why Why are there feet in my mouth? Wait, wait. Um, no, put them back. Guys. Put them back. Alright. Yes, Chris. Uh, Mama, remember that if you get hit when someone's trying to hit you, when someone hits you, it does. Attack! And I think the, the the dog shield guy was like hitting you in the air. <laughs> Go! You got this. I don't know if I got this. I think you got this. Remember, you're here to stop them. You've killed every villain that they put up against you. Yeah, it is. What's with all these villains and like fighting you indirectly? Like Hook, Hook is the one of the few who, who made like a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. He almost got it. Bam! Take her down. Come on, it's almost got You almost had it. I can't. I'm gonna kick the face. Okay, okay, okay. okay, you wanna. Oh! What? Did I do the wrong thing? No, you didn't have enough time. You gotta move over more. Please! You're doing so good. You're the worst. I'm the best. No, you tell me what to do when I need you. You tell me what, you, what to do every other time, but. And I'm like. Sometimes you're like, tell me what to do, and then you're like, sometimes you're like, be quiet. Yeah, but like, in situations like that. I can try to tell you what to do. 
You're like, and I was like, what's going on? I'm so sick of this fight already. I'm sorry, I didn't like it that much when I was playing. Because it feels easy, it's just really annoying. And she has ads. Ads are the worst. And her lightning blasts do so much damage to the point where, like, See, when she summons the Dark Balls, that's fine. The Dark Balls, they're, they're not the worst threat. Move. They can, they're really weak. But you know what? If she doesn't, I would say this actually, if she if she can't spawn more enemies while enemies are out, I would actually leave her back. Because while they're here, she can't summon the dogs, if my theory is correct. And he'll summon all of them and heal with everybody. Well, that's fine. The dark walls are easily eliminated and they give you help. You're right. That help? Tinkerbell gives you help. If you want to put her out now, I guess it's up to you. Okay, I don't know why. Oh, I think it's because both of them, both Donald and Goofy need to be alive. That way you can trade them out. And you're not just like getting a free trade. Basically, they both disappear, but they both need to be at health alive. Otherwise, it's like, oh, Goofy and Donald aren't being here, so I can just trade and it means nothing. Okay, the other one's just asleep. It's like, ah. Alright, let's see Goofy now. Alright, Goofy, now. Oh, you can now. Now you can summon. Oh, I can? Yeah. Okay, ah, ah. Take, uh, oh, I take me three. And Goofy's dead. Or wait, maybe, uh, I don't know. Well, I think. Maybe take me, yeah. Oh wait, no, you can't summon. There you go. But, yeah. but, but not take. She goes, uh, you need one more bar of magic. Feel free to like kill them. Yeah. Oh, when she hits me, that's fine. I didn't lose too much. Get her. That's fine. She'll get it back. And also you have a mega ether just in case if you want to give everything back. Hey! You can take now. Take. As long as that nobody dies. Alright, good. Summon. Thank you. You've never seen the Tinkerbell summon, by the way. No. Oh, this is cool. This is so cool. Okay. Please, Tinkerbell, just give me a bunch of help. He's so cute. Aww. So, Tink specifically has a, a, what, something called regen. Where... Oh, wait, they're still up? Donald and Goofy. Oh! Tink counts because Tink is just a regen. That's why. Okay, so she doesn't replace her party members. That's really interesting. She's she's healing you like every couple seconds. It's called regen, basically. Yeah, this might have been helpful. Yeah. 
And wow, she doesn't actually replace your party member like the other summons. She's just she's just on standby. Let me check. Let me check. I think so, yeah. Yeah, she's healing you. But it's not a lot. It's like she's doing like a like a ma one magic bar. Right? Yeah, she's doing it. If you want to heal yourself at any point, just to top, top yourself off, you can. But she's she's keeping you alive. All right, careful, careful. You're safe right now. Yep. Get her, get her. Go, get her. Keep going. Go, don't stop. Just go in, go in. Keep, keep rolling. Keep yep, 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 yep. This is it. Oh, you, my and girl. Rage. Awesome. Thank you, my girl. Tank is your girl. Christopher, that was all you, baby. Because I wouldn't have thought. About I totally summoning. forgot. Yeah. Chris, that was all you. Props, Chris, for remembering for us to summon. Everyone, oh, there's an item there too. Everyone, give a clap to me and leave like a lot of likes here. Cheer! I think that's so Donald lets you use your summons more often. And another answer report. Cool. Uh, there's an item to your right. Big item.